What is up guys, Raph here bringing you another progress video. In the last episode you saw I got smoke devils again. And I don't feel like doing those right now, so I'm gonna actually buy myself a magic fang. Assuming they didn't skyrocket. Let me see if I can buy them for a regular price. I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna try to get this bot for a decent price and uh, go do a little bit of barrows. Uh, I think overall this will be a good purchase just because um, barrows uses it. Uh, it'd be a, probably the best way to kill mithril dragons as well and some other stuff. So I'll just leave an offer in there for a while, see what price I can maybe get for it. And uh, I do have some other stuff I could sell if I really do need the money, like some snapdragons and stuff. But yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit of barrows once I buy that, uh, just for a little break and for something fun to do, I guess. So um, yeah. And wish me luck, even though it won't matter, because, you know, time. Okay, there we have it. Tried another swamp. Awesome. I'm going to go do some barrows, and, uh, yeah, go. wish me luck. Yeah. I don't know why I got that. Alrighty, guys, well, I did one full trip. Um, for me, a trip is around 12 chests, or 12 to 16. I could do a lot more, but, uh, honestly, around that point is when I start getting bored, so I just bring three super, uh, super sets. So if I, um, yeah, I, I don't know, I didn't get anything from that. I got one elite. Uh, I'm going to do that actually after I leave. There's no point in doing it right now. It's just kind of pointless, but um, yeah. So I did all of that and didn't get one item. And if you guys do recall, I think I did two runs before that and didn't get an item. So I'm about 30 to f probably closer to like 40 chests dry right now. So that really sucks if we're being completely honest. Do not pray mage, you dumb piece of garbage. Okay, almost done with this trip. Finally, got an air absorbed top, so that's something. I don't think they're worth very much. I think it's like 300, 400k, something like that. I mean, not bad, I guess. It is kind of bad, but whatever. It's it's an item, so yay. Let's hopefully get like a back to back. That'd be good. <laughs> oh, Jagex, you are beautiful. I don't even know what to say. That's like, I think, I'm going to go back and look through my videos. I think that's my third spear on this game. Thank you. If there's anywhere I can have good luck, it is Barrows. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. So after selling all that, I do have 12 mil now. So I'm going to go ahead and do this elite really quick. Um, I don't even know what gear I'm going to start taking. Um, I usually take a ranged weapon, but I think I'm just going to start tridenting everything. So, I don't know. But uh, wish me luck, I guess. And uh, once I'm done with that, I'm probably just going to... I don't know. Do something. I'm pretty close to being able to buy myself 90 prayer, I guess, kind of, somewhat. Dragon Bones, I think, went up quite a bit with Grand Exchange. Not sure why. Uh, I th you'd think it would actually, they'd actually go down, because a bunch of bots would be able to be dumping them all the time. But, I don't know. I guess Jagex dealing with the bot problems and stuff actually... Blah, 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 blah. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, I remember back in the day, before the uh, houses came out, or before construction was, like, finished on here... Everybody had to do this, had to do this garbage. Oh my lord, this is not fun. How anybody ever trained prayer like this, I will never know. C come on, as soon as I start recording, miss click like crazy. But yeah, I got the clue that's on Dragon Tooth Island, or whatever it's called. Um, so I'm just gonna definitely do this. I'm probably gonna also get my other ring back, so I just never have to do this again. Uh, what's it called, the Ring of Karos, or whatever? Uh, I think that makes it so that you don't have to pay nearly as much, so I'll get that back, I guess, just for elites. Even though I'll probably never use these tokens, I think I'm probably going to have like 150 or something like that. So yeah, I think it's 50 each time you want to go there. So Thanks, I guess, Jagex. We, we were complaining that there was no use for the Ectophile at all, or for the Ecto tokens at all. So they're like, oh, okay, well, here you go. But yeah, uh, we we were joking. We, we don't need to do this, please. This is the longest elite ever. Please give me something, please. 137 oak planks. That's actually... What? I didn't think you could get that many. That's crazy. How much? That's a pretty good clue, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 210, uh, 217k. Alright, that's not that bad. It probably took me like 20 or 30 minutes to do, though, so... Meh. Okay, so I think I'm going to go do some construction. I do need to just start getting it over with since I'm making enough money that I think I can start training prayer a little bit. But I have actually been informed that cannonballs are under 200 each right now in the Great Exchange, so I'm going to go ahead and see... If that is true, um, how much did they buy for? I'm stupid and bought two. And I'm not gonna math today, so. How much did they buy for? 199. I'm gonna try to buy some for like 195. Or like 190, maybe. 
Yeah, I'm gonna merch like crazy. Uh, if those ever go back up, I'm sure they'll go back up eventually. Hopefully, probably, maybe. Um, I don't know how many I want to buy. Maybe 20k, 30k. Yeah, it's a good investment. Um, I can't really see them going much lower than that. Maybe 100. And, I think the lowest I've ever seen them is like 165. But I mean, it's my luck. But yeah, I don't know. I still need maybe another 100. Maybe like another 200,000 cannonballs to get to 99 Slayer or something crazy like that. So it's not like it's going to be a huge waste. But the fact that they're this cheap, yeah, I'm definitely going to do it. Okay, well, um, I have enough, like, you know, like finger problems for now. So I'm going to stop and I'm just going to get some stew and I'm going to boost up to get the Gilded Altar because no. Uh uh. This hurts. No. This, this hurts, guys. It, this hurts. Carpal tunnel is incoming, and uh, this is painful. I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably I'm gonna like make flat packs to 99 construction. I don't even care if it's inefficient. Like, God, that no, please, never, never again. Boost pretty pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and make the altar. Yeah, I'm actually gonna have to make the burners afterwards, but whatever. Uh, there we go. Gilded altar. Oh yes. Some good stuff right there. Uh, I don't even know what I need to build these. I don't think I'm going to even bother with the marble ones. Like, no. That's too expensive for me. I'm I'm cheap. I'll just use, like... I don't know. Gold candlesticks. That sounds pretty cool. Alrighty, guys. Task is completed. I uh, got one occult necklace, so uh, not much. I think I'm going to go ahead and... I'm just going to sell all the loot from that task again. And see if I can maybe get, like, a little bit of an average on a task, because odds are you're going to get an occult necklace every task, so this is pretty much about as average as it can get, so I'm just going to sell all my loot and see how it goes. I also did get 82 prayer and 124 combats. Uh, I've just been buying some dragon bones, kind of, on the side, um, and I'll just do prayer whenever I feel like AFKing, or whenever I can just, like, only be on for a couple minutes or whatever, so uh, just having some bones to use is, I guess, a good idea. Okay, guys, so that was probably the most painfully average smoke double task ever, and I got 3.2 mil from it, so uh, I think that's a pretty good average. You're going to get at least, like, 3 mil from any smoke double task, regardless of how bad your luck is, so it's always worth doing. You can probably finish it in eh, two to three hours, maybe, something like that, so it's over a mil an hour, I would say, uh, even not including smoke, smoke battle staff drops, so yeah, definitely worth doing. Okay, random 79 farming, that's cool. I can finally grow dwarf weeds, so I might do those in the future. I'm not sure, I'll have to look into it. I know they're better experience, but who knows. Okay, guys, there we go. It's 85 prayer. I'm done with prayer for now, I guess. I can now combine the holy elixir with the spirit shield. Yay. Maybe I'll look into doing that for making money or something like that, but there we go. 85 prayer, that's the highest I can get with bones that I have left. So uh, that's pretty good, I guess. Looks nice. I like to have prayer on like an even level. And I have that many dragon bones left, so, yeah. I'm definitely not getting it with those, but, um, yeah. I don't even know where all my money went. I think I'm, yeah, I'm buying cannonballs, um, for pretty cheap. I think, like, 190 each right now, so, um, yeah. I think people, the reason that cannonballs are going down so much is people don't realize that the, um, Achievement Diary reward for smithing cannonballs, like, twice as fast, that didn't pass. They revised it and just took that out, so that's not going to be a thing, so, if you guys would now like to panic sell them all so that they will rise again, then that would be awesome. But, or wait, no. No, panic buy them now that they're cheap so that they'll go back up. There we go. I know how economics work. All right, guys. Jeez. <sighs> so, it seems like whenever I just feel like recording, I'm always killing dark beasts. But, you know, maybe I'll eventually get that dark bow and you'll be able to just know my reaction for finally getting a dark bow, but, um, I actually noticed that I do have, like, a crap ton of supplies, like, I have almost 100,000 cannonballs, and I have, like, six to 700 prayer potions, so I think this would be a good time to try to get myself, like, a really, really nice looking Slayer tab, so I'm gonna, um, not sell any drops for now, uh, I'll, I'll probably go back on that, because I'm me, and I can never just, like, keep these goals actually set, but I'm gonna try to just keep all of my drops, and just see kind of where it goes, get all of my money that I actually am making during that time from uh, farm runs, and all that stuff, since I can buy like 30 seeds at a time, sell the herbs, buy 30 seeds, sell the herbs, stuff like that, so it's really easy to just keep up with that without having a huge bank, so I think it's, it'll be kind of cool, I'll just see how much, or how many drops I can get from crap ton of Slayer supplies, so uh, I, that might be enough to get me to like 
close to 97, I would think. I'm not sure. I, I actually have no idea, so that, that was probably a lie. My bad. Alrighty guys, finally got more cave krakens. First time I've had those in a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I made quite a bit of progress, I guess. Kind of. Somewhat. A little bit. So, uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy. I will see you next episode when I, I'm sure, break my little rule because I'm going to get I'm going to get so many tridents from this task that I'm going to just have to sell them all because they're worth so much. And uh, it, it'll just, it'll be a good time. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy. And I will, uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace.